Boom! What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Momentum 360 weekly video. I'm your host, Sean Boyle. In this one, we're going to be going over how to create a 3D Vista virtual tour from scratch. What's going on, guys? If you haven't yet, stop, go to our YouTube channel, click subscribe, and click that little bell too so you get notifications whenever we post a new video. You will be the first person to know. Thank you so much for the support, and now the video you've been wanting to watch. All right, gang, how you been? What's going on? So guys, in this one, I'm showing you how to build a 3D Vista virtual tour from scratch. First step, you wanna to go to 3dvista.com and download the software. Guys, it's only $500 as they advertise, no subscription, one-time payment, unlimited virtual tours. And again, this is one of these things, guys, where for me and my company, it's very, very intriguing simply because unlimited virtual tours and you can really make anything as we'll see here, right? But if you wanna to go to the samples, if you have no idea what 3D Vista is about, you can make a, vir or a virtual medical training simulation, you can make a paintball battle, you can make a safety training, and then obviously real estate and a bunch of other niches as well. But guys, point being, 3D Vista, in my opinion, Bart Wilson might have uh, another opinion. He's with VPix <laughs> 360. He's um, one of my good buddies in the industry. Uh, might have another opinion. But 3D Vista, for my money, is one of the most comprehensive virtual tour services on the market. Okay. So this being said, you can quite literally create anything you want. As I say to my clients and a lot of our team members, the only limitation is in our own creativity. And I think that's very, very important. If you have a limited uh, creative mind then that's really gonna you know cap your potential for your clients if you're very creative and have all these kind of ideas and, and you know nuances of thinking it's going to be great for your clients really to have that perspective in the back of your of uh you know their mind to say hey you know sean and his team they can make something a little bit more robust that you know our competitors can't so this really flows well with our level of thinking all right so guys once you download this I'm gonna pop right into this. You're gonna be prompted to go to a create project, which as you'll see here, we will do that. So once you are into this uh, select this again, I wanna backtrack for a second, guys. You're gonna need the access key from the 3D Vista uh, purchase. And then the second thing is actually you're going to need a 3D Vista cloud account. So the cloud account is pretty much where you're going to be hosting all these tours, um, different ways to go about hosting it. But obviously you want to get the software and the cloud that are both from the same company. Really, really easy. All right, cool. So that being said, guys, you could actually import your own skins. You can see there's magazines, portfolio, enterprise, mini vehicles, etc. It's a really, really unique skin. Um, honestly, it's something I've never quite seen before. In a virtual tour software so very unique for this one let's just go with the portfolio this would be good for real estate so let's hop right into it cool so it's going to load the project and you will then be able to do whatever you want for the most part so let's go check this out now as you guys probably already know you can change anything you want for this tour so you can create panoramas, you can import panos, you can create a photo album, you can import the 360 virtual tour, you can import a video. So all these types of medias that you're able to do. Now, that being said, as you see from the skin, if we go there, you can actually select a different level where they show up. So for the floor plan, that's gonna go here. If you wanna change it to the second you know, tier, you can do that too. For the photo album, if you want to make this all the way up top, you can do that as well. Guys, it's something where this is really, really customizable. So just keep that in mind. So remember when you were in school and you were first taught about Microsoft Word? This is kind of how it is. So you have file, you have, you know, new, new project, new panorama, import, export, all these different things. But for now, I'm really just going to be showing you how to create said virtual tour and customize it, right? So we already have the skin. Okay, for the company name, there's a lot of different things we could do with this. For me, I'm probably gonna put my client's logo right here, my logo if I'm branding myself, whatever, right? For this, this would be a great opportunity to put in what we're actually talking about, okay? So for the tour information, 
we could simply put, I don't know, one, two, three Pine Street, it's gonna be a residential property, whatever, right? For the panorama list, this would be great for a set number of panos and people can, you know, simply slide back and forth to see them. The location, this is a very unique thing. People can put in a aerial, if you guys have played Call of Duty, you can actually, you know, where it's like a predator missile, you can have that type of vision and zoom in all the way to that house. It's actually a really, really uh, unique thing. Floor plan, you guys know what that is and contact information, you can just change that here, right? Other than that, you can see up top, this is a very, very important thing, guys. So not only can you create all these really unique uh, pieces of content, whether they're photos, panos, importing virtual tours and videos, but you can also embed certain things. So if I wanted to put something right here, as you guys can see, I can create pretty much anything I want with that. So if I wanted to put in, I don't know, a picture, if I wanted to put in a logo, I could do that right here, which a lot of people end up doing, right? Furthermore, if I wanted to put a button in, if I wanted to put an icon, close the button, this is really, guys, where you can check out, you know, all of the tagging features. This is where you're going to do it right here. Progress bar, tab, drop down. I mean, there's a lot of really awesome amenities here. So what I honestly would recommend you guys do is just get lost in this. Just let 3D Vista kind of take over and, you know, mess around with it. That's how I honestly, and a lot of people learn the best, right? Just getting excited. You have this new toy, you want to play around with it and, and make something beautiful. So this is really, really important. Furthermore, if you want to check out, honestly, anything else, I mean, there's a lot of different viewpoints right here. And it's a really, really interesting uh, software for sure. So guys, this is something where for $500 lifetime, this is in my opinion and a lot of other people's opinions, the most comprehensive virtual tour platform on the market. And I like that you can also have a mobile viewpoint as well. So if people are scrolling, this is what it's gonna look like, etc. All right. So guys, that being said, I know this was a brief overview of 3D Vista. I want to give you guys the opportunity to just get lost in this, right? They have a lot of free trials and other things where you can check this out. Just get lost in it, right? I mean, there's a lot of things that I could tell you here. The thing that I want to tell you the most is 3D Vista is here to stay. Like I said, it's one of the best softwares on the planet. Probably in the future, I'll actually talk about how to optimize these tours. But for creating one, that's normally what you guys do. Obviously, you can check out the panoramas and add things right here. And then when you're finally done, you can simply publish this. But for the time being, there's a lot to really unpack. So I just wanted to do a quick overview of what this looks like for everybody out there who hasn't pulled the trigger yet. Okay, so that being said, guys, thank you so much for your support. If you have any questions, leave them below. I know this was a very, very basic overview for me. To be completely honest, I wanna do a little bit more uh, digging in the software and actually experiment a little bit more myself so I can show you guys how to properly optimize these tours like I've done with Matterport, like I've done with Cloud Pano, and like I'm gonna do with 3D Vista as well. So don't roast me in the comments for not showing off the features. It's not that I don't know what I'm doing. It's I just, you know, got kind of giddy and excited and wanted to make this video because I love this stuff. All right. So guys, that being said, thank you for your continued support. I don't know where we would be without it. I mean, what we have like you know, uh, more than a thousand subs, which is crazy to think a thousand people, more than a thousand people have subscribed and are listening to me talk to my computer. <laughs> it's crazy. So don't want to get too sentimental, but guys, thank you so much for the support. Absolutely murder the like button and comment any questions you have. My team and I will definitely be happy to answer. Thank you so much, and we will talk soon. Bye.